again, you've got uh, done a bit of work on an HAFX case with um, Asus Crosshair uh, 5 Formula motherboard. This one's got the um, it's got the 8 core processor, and it's been all this uh, motherboard has been uh, overclocked by scan computers. Right. Uh, basically just cut a window out of this, as you can see. That's all it is then, is a bit of plexiglass, there's obviously a bit of finishing off to do. But uh, this has been cut out, the plexiglass, so it gives you a full window. Right. And then if you look inside, you'll see right, that we've got um, dual HD 6990s in there. Uh, the bulldozer platform. Uh, we've got these AX1200 because I've used like the Silverstone 1500s and all the other ones right but I tell you what the AX1200 right I mean you just look at the the way the cables are manufactured for a start right is absolutely fantastic anyway we're probably going to have uh, a couple of different ideas that this board supports uh, uh, RAID uh, 1, 5 uh, and 10 and 0 obviously um, so if you wanted to put four drives into RAID 10 and there's all them other things like you know what I'm saying Okay, so it looks uh, all right, like, isn't it? you know what I'm saying? But uh, when you take a look at the other side, then you see, then there's something a little bit different. What we've done is um, basically is uh, this side panel still comes off completely. So all I've done is right is I've cut the side panel down, so it's similar to the to the the side that has the plexiglass. But then I've mounted this uh, aluminium sheet. And then what I've done is I've rad I mounted this big radiator um, onto the aluminium sheet, right? Uh, but also designed it so that um, because of dust, has a little bit of work. But this this actually slides out, but it's going to have a micro fesh, uh, mesh um, filter put onto it. But this then uh, will be the air filter for this uh, for this uh, radiator because otherwise you're just going to end up with tons and tons of dust in it. So like I say, it's all it is, right? Is uh, if you look at the way I've made it is uh, you've got like uh, another piece of aluminium that comes back on itself like an L and then this um, this filter then just slides up and down do you know what I'm saying obviously there's a bit of finishing off to do but it's the general idea is there then we got this res here right and I think I should be able to turn that back on a second now we'll have a look at that oh, no, it's not on at the moment but uh, anyway yeah I've been doing a I've got this uh, just temporarily wired up now because you don't you always before you uh, as you know, before you uh, you know uh, switch your machine on, you should do a uh, pressure test. You know, so just leave it running and making sure you've got no leaks, like you know. But uh, you can see the way that it's been connected. Uh, pumping system. I've got the blood red uh, liquid in this, and it's uh, proper EK stuff with a low conductivity. But uh, it's quite unusual looking as well, and I think that the the uh, oh yeah I forgot to say that the um, uh, in the roof of this as well you've got a, a big um, XSPC so what I've done is two loops you've got one loop now for the CPU because uh, this is going to get pretty hot so she can have that this rad to herself and then the two HD 6990s in right uh, they can have uh, the rad on the back like you know what I'm saying but um, I'm hoping that uh, these uh, this this is basically uh, all an AMD platform because I was running some HD 6990s on the EK on the um, EVGA SR2 and didn't like them, so that's why I decided then to uh, put um, the G, uh, proper EG, EVGA GX 580s in the uh, in the SR2, and uh, you can tell <laughs> it, it liked it. But another interesting feature is going to be uh, we're going to be uh, testing um, this new uh, thin client now from uh, EVGA, right? Uh, I was like that. Yeah. This is the thin client, and basically what it'll do is uh, over a network, right? It will enable you to, um, you know, uh, test your graphics over a network. This is the card that slots into the machine on the PCI Express. I uh, should be wearing uh, anti-statics, really, it's a bit uh, of a mistake here, like. But uh, yeah, it's a lovely-looking bit of kit as well. But I mean, we'll be testing the functionality. Basically, what happens here is that um, there's a, 
this this uh, interface connects to um, there's a there's a, a double connector that fits onto it, and then it goes out of the rig and then back into the, the graphics cards, and gives you the uh, supposed to be fantastic uh, graphics, and then basically what you got on the thin client then is you got the two um, uh, DVI ports and you've got full USB uh, supposedly full USB functionality on the thin client so basically um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be setting this rig up getting it running tidy and then we're going to do a test then with this thin client and we're going to be make, you know seeing if, if um, we're going to be comparing it to a, an Alienware um, <coughs> 18 X um, working on uh, 3ds max and doing some rendering and then we're going to be using this rig um, in, in a comparison um, over a few different tests like you know what I'm saying but uh, yeah if you this is this they go I tell you what when I built it as well it's almost as if right these these cards now because they're AMD they want it to fit onto this motherboard the rig went together really nice but when I tried to fix these cards onto the uh, the Intel motherboard it didn't like it it was having loads and loads of driver issues it was buggy and everything so we're hoping now that this platform now is going to be uh, it's going to be more successful you know but uh, yeah like I say I'll give you another shot of the the way it looks now with these these freaky uh, this freaky setup like do you know what I'm saying these are the uh, Antex right um, the rad that I had from Scan Computers, uh, I can't remember what make it was, but uh, it's from China, and it was actually um, a little bit difficult to to fit. But uh, so once it's all finished, and the roof will go back on again, and obviously the because what I got is uh, I got this reservoir running um, the CPU loop, you know, this reservoir then is running the, the graphics card loop do you know what I'm saying it's uh yeah this is quite unusual looking so the window goes in nice as well on the uh, the panel so yeah some experiments to come and hopefully we'll be able to see what's happening like that cheers